Hi folks, welcome. It is the 8th of July 2021. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, yeah, I'm just a bit of routine today as usual. <laughs> Just got to make up a cone. These are, when I say make up a cone, what I mean is I've got a set of cone, you know, in a, a lump of clay. So let's just do that, talk about that. Um, there's the cone. There's a lump of clay. So what I'm going to do is, so I've got a little bit of uh, silica sand here. There it is. A little bit of silica sand. So I'm just going to take my bit of clay and what I generally do is Kind of just loosely massage some silica sand. It doesn't have to be silica sand. It could be beach sand, any sand, doesn't really matter. Okay, so just kind of massage that like that. And um, my knife. So what I'll do is I'll Take a piece of this. So take the cone and then I take the piece of clay and wrap it around the, the cone like that. Blend it over here where it, where it joins and underneath there. So he's looking something like that. So I like to have the cone exposed at the bottom there like that because that gives me the right angle that the cone needs to be. Okay, having done that, I'm going to take a, a knife and just trim off the excess like that. The Okay, so now we're looking something like that, we in the picture. Alright, and then I take a piece of wire and just punch a few aeration holes. So he, it looks something something like that. Yeah, you just want to do that to let any steam out. I mean, usually by the time I get to put it in the kiln, it's already dry, of course. Okay, there it is. Okay, that's how you. That's how I make up a cone. Now that's that is a cone ten. I'm firing my kiln to cone ten, and and that is the only cone I have in the kiln. I don't use. I don't use any other cone, like, what do they call them, witness cones and all the rest of it. It just seems like, because I've got my two eyes and I've got a pyrometer as well. Now, <laughs> I didn't have one once, but I do now. Thank you, Don Gilmore. <laughs> so what am I doing? I'm right now in the process of uh, just putting, I've just been doing these little strap bottles. This one's in the process of drying. i um, just got to put the handle on. So I've just got a few handling, bit of handling to do. Uh, I'll just grab these over here, bring them over. So, So these at, at this stage are, let's just bring that in a bit, are we, yeah. So yeah, I threw these uh, yesterday, these are thrown out of one pound of clay, it's just uh, a fairly 
simple strap form, strap bottle form, r rotund in form. Um, it does have this turnout at the at, at the base here that you see. Um, that's just an optional thing. Um, it does have a decorative feature there. Oh yeah, I'll show you that. What I did that with. I used a um, this tool. To do that, just by holding it on the side, as the pot is rotating, I just hold that to it as it, as it rotates. Okay, that's just simply a beer bottle cap. Okay, you can make one of those up. Quite easy to do. Hold that there to it. It just gives a quick, a quick and easy decorative feature. Okay, let's put on the first thing we're going to need to do here is just let's get this light a bit better here. I want you to see this, yeah. So as you, as you see, th this all it requires is just lightly thumbing off like that. Where this decoration is, I'm just going to rub my thumb over it. Okay, this is no, a no fuss kind of pot, you know, not a lot of. Not a lot of farting around, pardon my French. <laughs> okay, so we're going to just where we're going to attach the handle is there, right off the off that. So this this has got a rolled rim on the top here. Incidentally, just give it that e bit extra, bit a little bit extra beefiness there on the top. Okay, these handles I pulled them a while ago. Today the weather is like, it's been wet and raining and damp and typical Pennsylvania summer, um, rather humid, you know, things don't dry much when it's like this. So working off the banding wheel, okay, um, applying the handle into the at uh, the top of the pot there. But you'll note that I'm keeping the handle supported, okay? Don't let the handle drop. Never let handles drop. They really don't like it. I'm just going to move the camera a little bit that way because I want you to see this next. So now, keeping it supported, take it to the vertical, like that. Dip it in your water pot. I better move my cup of tea in there. Otherwise it's going to be... I'll be dipping it in there. <laughs> Okay, so now just refresh the handle by, by pulling it like this a few times. Okay, all right, and then let the handle come around and drop down to like that. Check it. Always check your handles, you know, from the side and from this angle and also from on top because you know you, you may need to make some adjustments and now I'm just tidying up the handle here the join making sure that it's well smoothed in the the clay there at the join you notice how I'm rolling my finger like that okay learn how to do that because that will That'll help you quite a lot with, okay, okay, just checking that, okay, now this, these guys, I push them on like that, and then I flick that off, and now I dip my finger in the water and just take this and I do this, okay, like that, okay, now that's not, that's not yet 100% finished, but you'll see I'm going to come back to that. If you want, take a little bit of water on your finger, just run it over the back of the handle like that. Okay, what we need to do here is seal it and also there's something I'm going to be doing there. All right, so next, let's take the next one now. This particular one didn't have that turned out um, 
that feature on the foot like that these ones have had. You see this one slightly turning out, this one hasn't. Just because I just sort of thought, ah, I'm going to do one. I'm going to do one just a little bit different. Case, okay. Bit of water there, a little bit of water on the rim, and I just notch it with my fingernail like that, you see. Are we in the picture? Ooh. Okay. Take the handle. Use your knuckle to make the end of the handle fatter, okay? All right, apply the handle to the top there. Apply a little bit of pressure, push in, okay. And now gently with your finger, smooth the handle into, into the body here like this. You can do it like that. Dip him in the water pot. Give him a few pulls. Da, 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 da. Okay, holding him by the end, then let the end come down. Like that. Take that little bit off. Now here, just See what I'm doing here, just, just smooth that in. I, the idea is I'm trying to get it nice and rounded here. All right, you'll see why in a moment. Um, clean around the top there. Make sure he's well joined and smoothed in. Okay. That's about it. Yeah, now this one doesn't have a decorative feature, and that's because I thought um, I'd do a got my box of of roller wheels here. I just thought I'd do something. And maybe we'll do a herringbone. You can use a, a banding wheel sometimes to do these, but because the form is kind of, I'm just going to have to freehand it across along here, okay? So I'm just going to push this in, rotating it as I go. Hope I don't make a pig's ear of it. Okay, there he is. So make yourself some, some roller wheels. Oh, put that guy in there. One more to do. Just thumb this guy. Okay. Yeah, this one I use that, this tool on the top here. So a little bit of water, I use my fingernail here just to notch that top edge. Like that. A bit of water there. There we go. Right, let's take this guy. Dee dee. Are we in the picture? Yeah, okay. okay. Take that, hold it, wiggle it, push it. Smooth it in that order. <laughs> okay, dip him in the water. Dip your hand in the water. Don't forget to dip your hand as well as the the handle. Okay, give him a few pulls. The reason we do that is after we've initially pulled the handle, let it set up a bit. 
we need to wet it again when we do it when we pull it again you see okay take that bring it around like that check him there push him flick him off all right and then that end here just with a little bit of pressure just sort of make it nice and rounded there like that That'll do. This guy as well, we're going to have to use this, this guy. Always when you do it freehand like this, it's going to result in the line being, have a little bit of friendly wave to it, you know. But we don't mind that, do we? A little friendly wave in the line. Okay, there he is. Okay, so what we're going to do now is have a sip of tea. Essential. Robust tea. Good. All right. So what we're going to do is, so you see this, you see the design there. We did that there, that guy. That's what we're going to do. To do that, we're going to use this fella which is a little piece of clay flattened and then rolled out onto itself like that in a random way and then bisque fired okay it's a very high-tech tool okay take that take this and we're just gonna just push it into there like that you see same time I'll take my own personal seal and smack it on the bottom there. Okay. There it is. Next. So the reason I did these first and then left them there and come back to them to use this Im impression tool is because it's just dried a little bit, you see. I don't want it too too wet when I do this. Otherwise the the seal will become clogged with super wet handle clay which I don't want. So we come back and do this a little later you see. It's just another way of doing a termination on the on the bottom of a pot um, you know, as you know, there's different ways of terminating, you know, a fishtail or... So, it, it becomes a little bit of a feature, you see. Which can be quite nice. Quite nice indeed. Oh, I haven't put my seal on there on those other ones, did I? I forgot to seal them. I think I did that one. No, I didn't. Yeah, get yourself a seal. Make your seal. Uh, first, learn how to make pots before you're worried about the seal. But once you start to begin to throw reasonably competently, you know, you can, instead of scratching your name on the bottom, which is, I think, a terrible. That one we did get done. There's one more there, that one. Yeah, so make a seal. Um, I got a video on that, how to do that. Years ago. Okay, so these, how will these be glazed? They'll be glazed on the inside, over the lip here, over the rim, and over the top of the handle. And that's it. The rest will just have wood ash sprayed over them from my fire from my firebox. Okay, there it is. The production goes on. 
Yeah, we've got. I'm trying to get a firing uh, together as you saw me do that cone. All right, so those those are some little strap strapped um, strap bottles. Have a go at doing those. Those are a pound. Okay, they're quite easy to do, uh, not difficult, and quite satisfying. I think you'll enjoy them. So let me know how you get on with doing them. Yes, and if you want to send me some photos of your pots, please. This is all stuff that's waiting here. Uh, GP bowls and some some little covered caddies. These have already been waxed. They're ready for decorating. Mugs there. Over here we've got some, yeah, some of these tea bowls with the shell uh, decoration. Somebody wrote to me about that. They wanted to have some and I've got some for them on route if anybody else is interested. These are all just different different designs. There's a butter paddle and my Joey, Joey Wade paddle and then another paddle here. So it's nice to be creative isn't it? Inventive using paddles. These, these, these here, these are all, these are Hakami, these are Hakami bowls awaiting, uh, they've got to be dipped again, they've got to be dipped again on the on the outside. And these these little fan vases that I did, I made a bit of a mess actually on this one, trying to glaze it. It was actually quite difficult to glaze and it all poured over the side. So, look at it, oh my gosh. <laughs> No, no, don't look at it. I figured out now how to glaze these, but the first one I did, I made a bit of a... I'm just going to glaze it anyway, stick it in the kiln. What the heck? What the heck? Never mind. Okay, if there's anybody interested in doing um, Zoom, this is where we do Zoom over here. We have the screen set up and the uh, webcam. If you're interested in doing Zoom, doesn't matter how how good or bad you are. Maybe you think that you're not ready for Zoom, but maybe you are ready for Zoom. Maybe that would just actually help you and help you to turn a corner and improve, you know? So don't wait till you've got to think that you're a, of a certain standard. It doesn't matter. Just just come as you are, you know? And um, I'm sure we can help you. Also, these, uh, these treadle wheels I'm taking, well, I've, I'm having a batch made. I'm going to have a couple free, okay? If anybody wants one, there's only a couple free. So you better get in touch with me, but quick. And other than that, workshops are ongoing here. We do have a workshop here 24th and 25th of July. Uh, workshops are a bit thin on the ground this year, but don't let, th don't let that put you off. Um, Please come, you know, and uh, come and join us for in-person, in-person workshop here in the studio. It's a lot of fun. We cover a lot of things, and you'll get probably quite a lot of improvement, a lot of help. Um, apart from that, keep practicing. Yes, keep practicing indeed. <laughs> I'll see you in the next video. Take care, folks. Bye bye.